it was really great to see 11 other artists who cared. Rather than feeling competitive, I thought it was exciting. It's a bit, you know, like, don't be too cool and say that you've been working for 12 hours a day and not going out on this. That's what I did, but it seemed like everyone else was doing that too. Like, really putting their heart and soul into this body of work. Yeah, it's been really great. There was a longer time to develop ideas. So from the time of the finalist announcement to the actual show, we had studio visits and meetings and various kinds of conference, like email conferences. Well, the process was quite amazing. So they were involved from the start over a year, studio visits and development, and also looking for things that most curators wouldn't. This is a beautifully installed exhibition. Each of the artists have had time with art space and the curators, Alexi Glass Cantor and with Sam Zamet. I took a read from my Aboriginal land around Taree and then I, I weaved it with a, a bamboo shoot from Guangzhou, where my other family's from, and uh, that created this, this pattern. Yeah, making time is um, it's an open kitchen laboratory where people share um, strategies for preservation. I try and engage with various religious discourses, but particularly ones that reflect my cultural background, Hindu and Christian mythologies. I work with clay basically on a very fundamental level to engage with creation discourses. I love that it's, you use it and it's wet and it's sticky and, and then you fire it and it's kind of, there's this incredible sense of permanence. None of that work existed pre the notification of the finalist shortlist. I wanted it to kind of have major impact by not showing anyone images of it and stuff. It's not easy to go winner when you walk through the door. That is, that is what, you have a more complex relationship with the works in the space, uh, how they relate to one another in the space. There's always talk about the nature of prizes and competitions and, you know, people are like, oh, it can go any way and blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, it's like, the, the existence of these prizes and these fellowships means that there are people and institutions willing to support cultural practice. So many people were like, okay. oh, you going to the Logies tonight on Thursday? So like saying really funny, like silly things. This is really big. I remember like during the speeches. I just felt a bit like claustrophobic and I like turned around, I was about to be like, oh, I'm going to go like to the corner or something. Like, I was actually shocked, like, and then, I don't know, that I had to give this like crazy acceptance speech. It was just really overwhelming. I really, in my heart of hearts, did not expect that outcome. What I thought was really encouraging. That there was um, a kind of support for the kind of work that I made. It's often hard to get politically engaged work by someone from like a you know marginal identity group into kind of mainstream like a, in, and get it sanctioned by institutions. What we all agreed upon was that we love the lusciousness, the fecundity, and the materiality of Ramesh's work. I do work from a kind of atheist, kind of secular perspective and all the references to Christianity are subversive. I look at the work sometimes and I think the penis is like this big and the work's that big, like why is that all you see? And I think it's because it's such a um, censored thing that no, people, they, that's all they can see and it's really, it's kind of a bit sad. I've never been to Europe, anywhere in Europe, I've only really travelled to um, a few Asian countries and I've always been a bit scared to go to Europe by myself. Winning the fellowship means that I received a fellowship of $30,000. Um, so this money is going to be used for a program of professional development. Um, particularly, I want to travel to Europe and Asia and kind of expand on field work I did in 2012, where I looked at various temples, particularly dedicated to Lord Shiva. So I really want to go to either London and Paris and kind of access the different other, other art institutions that seem to be because I've seen like photos on the internet of some of these museums and they look wild. So it, I think it'll just be good to, as a way to see what is out there and expand the work outside of kind of insular, small place that Sydney can be.